hi welcome back to my channel today i'm doing something a little bit different um so i have become aware over the last few years of how different sizing can be and how from that it can affect people's mental health or self-esteem because in one item they might be a size 18 in the majority of their clothes they're a size 18 and then all of a sudden they go and buy a pair of a certain brands jeans and they have to buy a size 24 and i get how that can affect people so i had this idea that i wanted to try on 10 pairs of jeans from different brands 10 pairs of black high-waisted and um, i think they all are skinny jeans and show you how differently um they fit so if you want to see the difference in sizing and me on the hunt for the perfect pair of black skinny jeans then stay tuned <laughs> I feel like I look like a presenter of like some sort of children's TV show in this outfit. Now I don't even mean to look this like wild but I just always do so <sighs> there we go. Okay, so the first pair of skinny jeans are from Primark. I got these in a size 20 because um, I'm not completely convinced that you can get um, size 22 skinny jeans in Primark. You might be able to, but they didn't have any available. So I thought, try size 20 and I'll be able to sort of work out what a size 22 would be like. These are the um, just black comfort stretch denim co jeggings in a size 20. Um, the leg is 28. They feel quite stretchy. Um, these were six pounds, which is absolutely incredible. And these are the cheapest out of all the jeans I'm gonna try on. So six pound. They feel um, nice and stretchy, you can tell there. They are jeggings, so they're literally just a pull up. They haven't got um, a button or a zip, and they haven't got belt loops. So um, I love it when you find a jegging with a belt loop, because I do quite like to wear um, like a belt with my jeans. But yeah, let's try these on. <laughs> These are the Primark jeans. They're super stretchy on the leg, but they've got like a tight waist. So obviously they probably would fit my waist, but then I've got to get them over the hips, which is not going to happen. Okay, the next pair of jeans are from Simply B, and these are my go-to jeans. Every time someone asks me, what jeans are you wearing? I'd say like 90% of the time I'm wearing these. So these are the Chloe jeans by Simply B, and um, they're high-waisted, they have got, have they got belt loops? Yeah, they've got belt loops, and um, they've got the button, they've got the zip, they're super high-waisted on me. Um, I'm presuming these ones are going to fit because I have got loads of size 22. Um, Chloe jeans. It's a real bonus for me if um, places have got different height, like different lengths um, in the jeans because it just means that I can get like a shorter. Um, they are super, super, super stretchy. Um, these are a 22 short, like I said, and these are 30 pounds. They do loads of different ones. Um, I know my friend Harry, Harry Jane, <laughs> she tried a pair of the coated ones of these on and they didn't fit. So I feel like potentially if you get um, the different versions, they might fit slightly differently, but these are just standard denim. And oh, I'm so excited to try these on. Oh, Chloe, I knew you'd never let me do it. Okay, these are these <laughs> Simply V Chloe jeans, my absolute go-to. Pockets are real in front and back. They've got the belt loops. They fit really nicely high up on my waist. You can have different leg lengths. So they fit perfectly around my ankle and they're tight around my ankle, which I love. And yeah. I knew you'd never let me down, babies. 
Okay, the next pair of jeans are um, by a brand that I have never tried before. I've got these from Simply B, but they're called Violetta. Violetta. Um, and they're by Mango. So you've probably seen Mango on the high street. Um, and this is their plus size brand. So, um these are a yeah these are a size 22 but they say slim 50 so uh, i'm not i'm not entirely sure and i have to say that on first glance these aren't um as black as a black pair of jeans so i hope you're going to be able to tell here these are the mango jeans and these are the simply b jeans So you can see that they're more of like a um, washed sort of denim. So yeah, these are from Mango. These are a little bit more expensive. The receipt says £32.39, but I feel like I might have had like a discount on that. Um, I'm pretty sure they were £35. Um, these are slim rather than skinny, so I think they're going to be a little bit loose around the old ankles and um, they didn't have different leg lengths i don't believe no they didn't have different leg lengths in these so um yeah but i'm just i'm just not sure about the the color and these were like more expensive than the others um but they look like a sort of like washed denim so let's see right the <laughs> oh my god these are the Violetta by Mango. Um, they are up, but not gonna do up. Um, the legs are super, super comfy, and they are super stretchy, but the ankles are like so, so baggy, which I hate. Um, but in Mango's defense, these are slim, I think. Yeah, these are slim, not skinny, so, yeah, and I don't like the fact that they're not, like, proper black, they're, like, a grey wash, so, oh, Lord. Right, I'm super excited to try the next pair on, let me just get you the price on these. Okay, so these are the most expensive ones I got, yeah, they are, these are the most expensive ones, and these are by Oasis Curve, and they're just called black skinny jeans, I got them in a size 22 again, and they were £45, so they're definitely um, more expensive, but these are called the Stiletto Skinny, and they're called Lily, um, like I say, by Oasis curve these look quite generously sized um they've got the belt loops they have got button zip they feel like a thicker um denim than most of the others they are super good quality they are slightly more washed black if you can tell so they say dreamy day to night jeans pin loving performance stretch denim that will keep its shape wash after wash um so yeah let's see what see what these are like Ooh, i'm excited it's like as soon as i get to my thighs they're like no absolutely absolutely not <laughs> These are the Oasis Lily, not happening, literally, not going to get them over my hips and my stomach, no, super long as well, super, super long. Okay, the next pair of jeans are by ASOS themselves, the queens of fashion, uh, these are the ASOS design curve, riving, riving turn high waist stretch power hold denim um so i these are jeggings um i believe that asos do these riving turn um in a few different styles these are the power hold which are a little bit more expensive i presume that means that they've got like more sort of stretch to them these were 28 pounds again i got them in a size 22 i got them in a size 22 length 30 um so yeah i love asos like if you've been watching me a while ASOS is always my go-to for pretty much anything, but I've never really that impressed with their jeans, so let's see. 
They look a little bit shiny. These are like a real, real black. I know you're not going to be able to see like the colour differences. Um, but these are like a real, real black. They're super thick, super stretchy. But you know that sort of stretch that you know... That's probably what the power hold is. But you know like that stretch that you know is going to like always go back. They actually feel really, really nice. Um, they haven't got belt loops. But they have got... Um, the button and zip and these look so high waisted like so 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 high waisted so let's see what they're like oh my jesus okay right asos ribbing turn they're actually really nice like power these are like the power holes they are like super suck it in which i like um, but I think a 24 would be perfect. Like I probably could do it with a lot of breathing in. But yeah, so I quite like these. Um, they are a little bit small. Um, but what I don't like is I can't bet properly. What I don't like is that they are loose on the ankle. Or like my skinny jeans to be like super super tight around the ankle. So yeah. Better than some of the others, but not the ones. Next up, we have got Boohoo. Boohoo Plus High Waist Skinny Jeans in black. Again, size 22. Oh, these are not very nice quality. Okay, so these are the Boohoo Plus High Waist Skinny Jeans. They're 25 pounds. They don't come in different leg lengths. And straight off the bat, I don't like the quality of these at all. Um, they haven't got belt loops. They're super thin. Like, you can tell that these are going to stretch and then... You know, look <coughs> you know, look after you after you've been wearing jeans for a couple of hours and then they don't go back to shape. You can tell that um this is that sort of vibe. So I just I don't know what it is. I feel like they're a little bit like cheaper. Um we'll see what they're like. They're, they're a little bit lighter, they're not like a, um as dark as the others, but Oh, look, off the hanger, I don't like the look of these. Boohoo. Not happening. Literally cannot get them over my bum. Like, they get to my thighs and they're like, no. Oh, Jesus. Okay, next up. Oh, okay, next up we have got the New Look Jenna New Look Curve Skinny Jeans in Black. These were $14.99, which is quite good in it on the old price point. Uh, yeah, New Look Jenna. These, again, don't look as dark as the others. Um, they've got to fit leg 32, but they didn't give me an option of different leg lengths but i think you probably can get them if you go straight to new look um they look high-waisted they are pretty stretchy um the ankles look like they're going to be quite tight so yeah quite like the look of these um i think from this i'm telling that you're going to get what you pay for um because i think a little bit cheaper you can tell the difference in the quality but um new look never let me down and we'll see we'll see oh lord <sighs> okay new look jenna no good not got a lot of stretching literally like cannot pull them up the button is <laughs> here under my stomach literally like no they don't feel comfortable. I know these are some people's go-to and I know every jean's going to fit different people differently. But these are a definite no from me. 
Okay, next up, these jeans have been sold to me by pretty much everyone, um, but probably Jess on the plus size who talks about them all the time. So these are the River Island Plus Molly. Now the reason I never get these, I think I've had a pair before, years and years ago, but the, real, the reason I never get these is because they're mid-rise. So they're mid-rise skinny jeggings, and I have to have a high-waisted jean because my problem is I've got bigger hips, a smaller waist, so if I have jeans that sit on my hips rather than on my waist, they fall, fall down because as I walk, I don't know. I don't know they never fit me right though but everybody swears by these and I thought I've got to put a pair in um, and they might change my life I might really like them so these are the second most expensive um, these came in at 48 pounds I got them in a 22 regular um, and I quite like the quality of these they've got like belt loops they've got a nice rose gold button um the pockets aren't real on the front they're real on the back little rose gold detail um they don't look i know they're not meant to be high rise but they don't look high rise so i'm not sure how they'll fit but they've got a nice amount of a really good amount of stretch actually so let's see <sighs> Right, these are the River Island Molly. I literally cannot oh, get them up. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Yeah, look, there, the button. They are actually quite comfortable on the legs, but I definitely need to size up in these. And they are quite low as well, whereas I like my jeans to sort of fit me here. So, oh my God. Oh, why did I decide to do this video? Why? Okay, these, I thought I got them in a 24 for some reason, but I didn't, I got them in a 22. Um, and these are the Marks and Spencers jeggings. These are the Marks and Spencers jeggings, and these are 15 pound. Now, Marks and Spencers, I think, are like known for um, being good quality. They are a jegging, so they haven't got belt loops, they haven't got button or a zip. Um, super, super stretchy. These are like thin, like they are like a proper jegging. I think some of these are called jeggings, but they are more like jeans. And um, these are thinner, just like a proper denim legging. Um, and they've got, they've got like a good shape to them, like a good amount of hold. Fake pockets at the front, real pockets in the the bum, and these come in different leg lengths as well. So, final pair, let's try these on. Oh my jeez. Okay, so these are the Marks and Spencers jeggings. They were pretty hard work to get up, um, but they're up now. <laughs> they haven't got pockets on the front, they have got pockets on the um, back. They do feel really, really tight on the leg. They're really nice and high waisted. They do definitely like power hold, cinch in the waist, which I really, really like. But they are super, super, super tight. I'm not sure how. Oh, I can't. I can't do my slut dropping in them. So yeah, I like them, but I don't know how comfortable I would be in these. They do look nice. They're a nice real black. Um, but they are definitely too tight. Oh my god, when I tell you that was a full body workout. <sighs> okay, so yeah, I hope that you can see my point. Uh, seems as though, like, what, 90% didn't fit? Maybe I should have ordered them all in a 24 and I would have been able to tell a little bit better. Um, but I was going off the Simply Be, which I always wear, which were a 22, um, and the Marks, which I usually wear, which again are a 22. So yeah, you can hope. From these, you can see how different the sizes are, what my favourite jeans are, um, and just 
how different they can be so my absolute go-to are the simply be chloe i thought from trying all of those jeans i might actually find like a different favorite um but these chloe jeans are still a firm fave from me and um, i will link them all down below if you want to have a little look and i hope that it makes you feel a little bit better at bit how fucked up sizing is and yeah if you enjoyed it give it a like and please subscribe to my channel that would mean the world to me and let me know what other videos you'd like to see if you enjoyed this and if you want to see other sort of sizing videos so yeah <laughs>